Welcome, lovelies, to Let's Play a Koei Tecmo game. One of my favorite companies. And that, whom I've never heard of before. Team Ninja I have heard of before, but they all come together to create this master. That sounded delightful. This game has an autosave feature. Whoopity do! Yay! There we go. All right. Now, as I was saying, I am Zillian Graves, and welcome to Let's Play Neo. Diving right into the thick of it. Of course, played this in my spare time a whole heck of a lot. Oh, to the far east lies Zipangu. A land brimming with golden palaces and sparkling jewels. Kublai Khan, ruler of the Mongol Empire, sent a large army there, but the warriors of Zipangu used miraculous stones to put up a strong defense. The Travels of Marco Polo, Chapter 6, blah blah blah. The Final Remember Fantasy that. Crystal. Oh, Amarita. Some call it a miraculous stone. The Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Legacy. No. The Queen of England remains locked in combat. She got an apple of Eden right there. Oh wait, no, that's a globe. Spain, a country where the sun never sets, for control of the entire world, her forces weakening with every battle, the queen and her inner circle turn to divination and alchemy, hiring pirates like us to find them written for them. With that power, they managed to defeat the invincible Spanish Armada. But of course, using a crystal to summon an army of demons from the Yokai realm. Oh, the Tower of London is an imposing fortress built by King William I in order to keep London safe. It has since gone on to be used as a prison for traitors and execution grounds for criminals. Londoners believe that if the many crows living within its walls were to abandon it, the tower would collapse and London itself would be destroyed. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. My. What a nice puddle. What a nice castle. What a nice place we have.
Holy crap, it's dark in here. I think I'll have to up the brightness a bit more. My apologies. Hello, lady. It seems death won't stop chasing me. Well, it's a good thing you're teamed up with an immortal. Now. Yeah, we'll be right with you. Let's open up this door. Seems to be locked. How dare you? Hey ya! Ow! Hey ya! Oh! Ah! E! Oh! Nya! Ah! It appears my superior skills at combat is no match for wrought iron. I guess we'll just have to go through here. Get out of my way. Now then, what do we got here? Stuff! Probably a good idea, but I don't think you succeeded. Just saying. Whoop. Nibbler, get off the umbrella. What are you doing? Silly cat. Oh, hi. How you doing? Great. A file in the corner. Cannot upload. Which, I don't know if that means it succeeded in uploading, or if it didn't. Because uploading from PS4... Seems to be a little haphazard at best. It keeps saying that my files cannot upload, even though they've uploaded, which I don't know what the hell's going on. It's weird. Come on now. Ah, no! Bleh. You will not stop me. I've played Dark Souls a lot. You're gonna go down, buddy boy. I played Dark Souls, I played Bloodborne, I played a whole bunch of the Samurai Warriors. <laughs> give me that key. Give me that sword. And give me that equipment. That's not a sword. There we go. Yeah, that. I thank you very much. Now. Let's use this sword and save Grayskull. Ding dong. Ooh. Boots. Awesome. Fantastic. Lovely. I do wish it would auto equip some of these things, but that's fine. Ding dong. There's no reason to open all of these doors, but I just like to do it. This one, however. In a way. Or you could try, you know, escaping like I did and just hulk your way through the wall. Ooh, box! Give me that treasure! Medicine! Let's see, let's put this on shortcut one. Alright, good to go! Now, there's probably a whole heck of a lot of story and lore and whatnot all dressed up in the uh, item descriptions and whatnot. But if you have this game, you can go ahead and read through those yourself. Wait, I need to take this actually. Mmm, medicine. Yummy. I love it. Ding dong. <laughs> Come on. Gotcha. You missed. You missed again. Come on, then. It's hard to hit a moving target, isn't it? Even one as slow as me. Wow. Did you fire? I'm not quite sure. Wow. It's just so unpredictable where you're firing. I mean... Amazing! Get out of here. Alright, enough goofing around. Let's do. Hi! What here? Get out of here, you! I don't have time for your sass. Give me that stone. I'm gonna throw it at your face later. 
What has? Hey, calm down. I just got pants. Ow. Ow. Easy does it. Think fast. <laughs> there you are. Rawr. Get over here. I say get over. Gotcha. Yeah. I love that little flourish he does whenever he puts away his sword. It only happens, if I recall correctly, it only happens if my sword is bloody. Otherwise, he'll simply do this. Which is still cool. But, oh my goodness, I can't see! Oh my goodness. Hang ten, everybody. I just gotta find the brightness. Brightness. Here we go. Crank this baby up. Oh, that's so much better. I do dare apologize if it's a little too bright. Actually, it does seem a little too bright. Hang on. Let's do it to the end of his pants there. That should probably be good. Yeah, I think that's just enough. Perfect. Thank you, fish lady. Whatever you are. Whoever you are. Whatever the heck we are. Who even knows these things? It's a mystery. Is the mystery found in your ass? Nope, it's medicine found in your ass. Can I sneak up on him and, like, poke him in the ear? <laughs> wow, so you're a guard in London, huh? Congratulations, numbnuts. You have failed your mission. Treasure chest! Let's see what we got going in here. Medicine, battle axe. Cool. Put the battle axe on, but not actually use it, because I do not like axes. Though, admittedly, I do like this axe in particular, but no. No, put that away. Careful. You're gonna hurt yourself. How do I run? Ah, yes. But of course. <gasps> Box! I didn't notice you before. Oh, there's my weapon. Go away, battle axe. Nobody likes you. Wah! There we go. I love me a spear, especially in this game. It is cool. Who put the stairs here? I don't remember this. Anyway, as I was saying, I played this before, off and on, with my best friend, and of course we have a blast in the game, but never finished it. Oh. Hello. The pirates have served their purpose. The death of the leader of Japan will spark a war and a wonderful opportunity to acquire more Amrita. Once tomorrow's execution takes place, we will get our hands on a compass that will lead us to that Amrita. With enough Amrita, we Who's could the other voice? Spain, perhaps even the world. The day when England reigns supreme is near. But our beloved queen thinks of Amrita as nothing more than gold or gemstones. We must find them before our nation's rivals do. That doesn't Edward sound good. Kelly, you will go to Japan. It seems it would be to our advantage to keep the wars alive. We cannot gain Amrita. If blood does not flow. Eddie, huh? Well, we'll see. Oh. Hey, who are you? Uh, nobody. Hi. Hey. hey, yeah. Such noise. Yeah. Yeah. Get on. There we go. Give me your coat. 
Oh, they shut the... They shut the thingy. What do you call that? Window? No. Ah. Uh, I guess window... In the door. I have no idea. In any case... <gasps> a hat! Oh, my favy! Give me that. Fashionable. <laughs> now then, let's get our way through here. Get the bloody hell out of here. We well, don't want to go too far. Actually, you know what? Screw it. This literally is just the tutorial area, and I'm running short on time already. So, let's just go. Ah, ah. Whoa, hello. Almost pressed circle to dodge. Getting back into my Dark Soulsy and Bloodborne ways. Can't be doing that. Mm -mm. Not in this. Circle does nothing. As far as I know. It probably does something, but I can't remember what it do. Hey, whoop. Hey. Get out of here, you. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, this. No, I think it's. I think we need to go this way. Ding dong! Hello, knights in shining armor. Come get some! Ugh. I need to stop doing that gravelly voice thing. It's actually starting to hurt now. Don't worry, I will survive. There I go, doing it again. See how well I take my own advice? Ow! Oh no, you don't. You think I haven't fought two big guys before? Seriously? Yeah. Yipe. You're not dead yet. Ow! My everything. Yum nom 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 nom. Well. Gotcha. Oh yeah, duh. Circle picks up stuff. Ooh, I got some cool things. Yeah, got you. Come on, then. Let's go. Whoa, that could have been disastrous. Gotcha. What? You're not dead. Fall over. Yeah. Would you just? Ow. Oh man, that hurts. Ow. Whoop. It. Oh. Oh, come on. Would you just... Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Die already. Thank you. Very much. Now. Where the blue blazes are we? Ah, yes, of course. Is this a place? Hello, shrine. Thank you very much. Now. And they're back. But we're going up. Now, as I say a bajillion... T Wait a minute. Whoops. As I say a bajillion times... I've not seen the end of this. Far from it. I think I'm only in, like, chapter three or four. Maybe. Who friggin' knows? All I knows is... I gotta get out of here. Is this the right... No, this ain't right. Give me that. Made it all this way for nothing. I'm gonna do something. If I jump. If I jump. Huah! Hi, how you doing? Candy Graham. This doesn't seem right. Wait a minute. Yaha! Yes! Put that away. You're gonna get the caught on the walls and then you trip all over the place. William, yes, our secret name. Oh boy. Time to face the wrath of Derek. <laughs> I mean, seriously? Derek the Executioner. That, that just does not sound threatening. 
like at all. Not one bit. Come here, you. Come on, Derek. Let me kick your ass with a giant spike thing. Spear. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so much for Derek. Oh, hello, Eddie. Ah, it's you. Yeah, it's the me. Man with the guardian spirit. Darn Skippy. Nice tats, Brit. If I die, the secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. Oh, Willie. Get back. No! Derek! He was only it's doing his job! Execution. Oh boy. Hi, Derek. So, yeah, me mocking you about your name. Uh, can we just forget that happened? Yeah. Hey -ya, oh -ya, oh -ya. Oh dear. I think he wants to give me a shave a little too close. Whoa! Oh jeez. Also, was his axe always that menacing? I think it may have changed along with his body. Haha! <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. Hey, I wasn't using that. Oh no, my battery's low. Take this. Yeah. Ah, uh, he should have split in half, though. Hello. Well done. Quite a feat. Thanks. I know you're impressed. Get him, Willie. Wait, no. Willie. No. Fish lady. No. I guess she's more like bird. Hey. Great. No time to mourn, bird lady. Bird woman. Come on, there's no way to go. Just jump. Ooh. Well, that's a whole lot of bad. The feather. The feather will guide us. Is it now? Come on, Willie. Let's defy death together. Oh, how lovely. Hey, Willie. You look a lot better. Uh oh, maybe not so much. Was not an enjoyable. During two years' voyage, the Helloff was lost. Uh oh, the trow sank. That's While not the good. Hope vanished without a trace. But of course, the of the blight about Sam was nothing but lies. Only leaf that remained. And floating on love, I guess we have our faith in that at least. An ironic twist. For what awaited us in the far east wasn't love. It was monsters and death. Where we arrive at the island of the Yokai. Or at least I can guess. 
What bugs me, though... One moment. Oh. Before I began my preparations for landfall, I leaf once more through that curious book I had chanced upon. Recorded inside are the memoirs of a sailor who had once paid visit to the land of Zipangu. Precisely how this document wound up in the hold of this ship... What the heck beeped? Nibbler! Are you on the humidifier again? Scoot! I swear. That cat loves technology. Anyway. Uh, where is I? How this document wound up in the hold of this ship when its author clearly belonged to the crew of a different boat is beyond me. But here I am, poring over its pages all the same. And not for the first time this voyage, I may add. What fascinated me above all else were the memoirs' many accounts of Zipangu's diverse weapons, er, armor and weaponry. Ah, yes. And of course, these all add a point to your uh, stats, but I'm pretty basic. I'm a take of the spear as my primary weapon. The sailor from the memoir seems to have spent quite some time in Zipangu, and succeeded in keeping the company of samurai. He writes in detail the est of establishments in Zipangu called Dojo, where people, including samurai, congregate for instruction in the martial disciplines. Just reading the sailor's vivid accounts, I feel as though I am there, in the flesh, watching these warriors as they train. The samurai is master of many armaments and trains for combat in every imaginable scenario. If I were to use another weapon, which one would I choose? Uh, the dual swords, but of course. The memoir also asserts that the samurai are knowledgeable in the martial arts, but not hand to hand, because of course they wouldn't give us that. Actually, I think there is uh, some hand-to-hand -hand abilities to an extent in this, but eh, whatever. First, they know which fighting stance to use in each situation, high, mid, or low. Second, after each attack, they ready themselves for the next strike, for their next strike, by focusing their ki, or inner energy. Third, once their ki is ready, the samurai can use the purification techniques to rid their surroundings of malevolence. I know not how to explain it, but I feel as though I have some innate ability to grasp all these concepts, and have experimented many times with each technique. So right off the bat, he's clearly a weeaboo. No, just kidding. Hell, I probably am, and I don't even know it. No. No. I enjoy the culture. I don't obsess over it. The memoir states Sipangu is home to eight million gods and other deities. Holy crap! Exactly how this figure was derived, I can only imagine. But of course. But as I gate uh, but as I cast my gaze to the shore, I am struck by the sensation that some mystical power has been keeping watch over me. It is an energy that reminds me of... Seo... 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 It reminds me of that name. I pull out the memoir once more and survey each page until I arrive at the guardian spirit that best matches the force I am sensing. Yes. Kato, the wolf guardian. Basically, Amaterasu. Izanari. Izanari? Hmm. I think it's Izanari. Or Dabiwashi. Wolf, shark, or bird. I am drawn to the shark. Honestly, simply because it's a blue. And it looks cool. So, let's do. Alrighty, Roo! And we shall close it the memoir. Is this okay? Yes. 
I just looked over. I have 10 seconds in the recording. No. First time. If you are a first time player, we recommend the tutorial. Um, no. Here's the tutorial. We go through, learn controls, and get through. Yay. We learned controls in the previous area. The dinghies have been readied for us to make landfall. For all I have read on this country, nothing can truly prepare me for what now lies ahead. I put the memoir down and leave my cabin. Kuroshima is a tiny island off the coast of... Wow, that loaded really quick. Well, you can pause this if you like. Alrighty, Rue. Wow. Our boat looks like crap. What the hell did you go through just to get here, man? Well, that seems slightly less than natural. Not sure if it's the Ammonites or whatever it was crawling all around them and disappearing into the ether. Or, if maybe it's the glowing light coming out of his chest. What do we Well, obviously, they wanted more than your stuff. But first, we... Give me that. Really? Cool. Sounds good. Now say hello to the cutest characters of all time. Hello, Kodama. How are you today? Yay, skill points. Fantastical. Yeah, let me see if I can zoom in here. Hello, little buddy. Let's see. Can I bow to you? I bow in sweet reverence. Aw, he didn't bow back. Oh well. He's cute though. But in any case, I am going to have to leave this here with a big mystery. And... Mm, don't spoil it if it is spoiling, but... No, don't, like... Mm, tell me just if it's before or after. Like, don't say anything else but that. But that moment in the Tower of London, where does that take place? Because it seems like it's a premonition, maybe? Like, it hasn't happened yet? But what if it happened before, and we escaped, and now became this pirate dude? Is it before? Is it after? I don't know. It's, it's a massive mystery, and I still, to this day, have not pictured, uh, set it into place. I simply do not know. But all I wish to know is, does it happen before or after this, right here? But in any case, thank you all for watching. This has been Let's Play Neo, with me, Selling Graves. And I will catch you in the next one. Later.